Good morning everyone, how are we all? Happy Monday, uh, here bright and early today. Um, I've got a busy day ahead, so um, I figured it's gonna be a stressful day. It's gonna be a very busy day, so I thought let's do some painting first and just calm myself, ready for the day ahead. Um, so, I do have children here today. Ooh, he nearly stacked it. Um, <laughs> my son just ran past them. <laughs> um, Let's do some painting. So we're doing this bedroom set. Um, what have we done? Let me talk about it first. Okay, so here we are. So this is the set that we're working on. This is a, if you didn't catch last week's live, I think that was, was that Friday? I feel like it was Friday. Um, if you didn't catch last week's live, it is two bedside tables and a great big six drawer dresser. So let me show you what we've done so far. So all I'm doing in this particular live um, or in this particular series, I'm just doing one bedside, but what I do to that, I then do to the other bedside. And spinning around, I then do to the uh, six drawer dresser as well. Hang on, my power's not plugged in. I'd bring it down, but it's not plugged in. So, um, sorry, hang on. Whole family's just arrived. <laughs> um, so we've sanded, scruff sanded, We've primed, we're looking really, really good. Um, there is, it's only a couple of drawers. There's these really, really fine cracks. I'm actually going to fill those, I think. Um, there's, and it's just a couple, just a couple. They're not cracks, they're just like in that finish. There's a little one here. It's not major and you don't have to, um, but a couple of them, I think that one was the worst one. These ones, oops. These ones are looking pretty good. Was there another one? This one has some up here as well. So it's mostly just the timber grain coming through. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint over this one now. I'm gonna see how it dries. Sometimes when you paint, it's enough to sort of fill those in and then you don't see them at all anymore. But we will, I'll play it by ear. So I'm just gonna paint this one now, see how it dries. If it looks all right, I'll just paint the other ones. If it doesn't, I will um, come back, pop some filler in, and then um, and then I'll do another coat. So we're using Pure Eco Silk Finish in the color Carbon. This is a black. It is by far one of my favorites. I love my um, I love my blues, my greens, and all colors except for whites. But the Carbon just it just has me. It has me wrapped around its little finger. I absolutely love it. Um, it is one of our most popular colors as well. And um, it's just beautiful. It really, really is. So I'm excited to do that. Should we do some painting? All right, so, still finished carbon. Now, I've got a 250 ml pot here. I wanna see how far this goes. So we're gonna do two coats. Let's see how much, how far this goes. So I've got two bedside tables and a six drawer dresser. I don't think this will be quite enough but I'm too impatient. My 600 mil, I got an order in of Pure Eco stock. I think it was the start of last week. Was it the week before? No, it was the week before. Um, and I forgot to order an extra 600 mil jar for myself. Uh, and then I completely forgot to put one aside as well. So I had to order more, which is good for you guys because it means the few items, not everything's back in stock, but a small selection of our most popular products are back in stock um, tomorrow when it arrives. Um, yeah, the ETA is tomorrow, so it'll be, it's normally here like mid morning, so hopefully, hopefully. Um, so we're gonna start. That was my husband. <laughs> Trying to take the baby past. Um, I'm just doing this quickly. We're gonna do 250 mil. Let's see how far it goes. Um, you'll either get as well, I've mentioned it a few times, if you're not keeping up, Pure Eco are slowly transitioning all of their paints to, and now it's raining as well, um, to a 250ml jar. So they were 200, um, which is the, do I have one here? No. It's over on the shelf, I'm not walking over there. 200ml jars, we're changing to this size jar, which is a 250. <laughs> Family, I shouldn't have done this now, anyway. Um, so we're gonna do a 250. Let's see how far it goes. If it, um, I don't think we'll quite have enough, we'll be close, but not quite enough. Um, 
my new jar arrives tomorrow. I'm too impatient. I just want this done. So we're going to start with this. Good experiment. Why not? Um, so, brand new jar. Crack it open. As always, with your paint, make sure you give it a good shake or stir. Peel off your little label and stick it on the side of your jars as well so you know what the colour is. Give it a good shake. And then you can crack it open. So all of our jars as well are sealed. Is it a vacuum seal? I don't know. Um, when Pure Eco started manufacturing, we had a lot of jars exploding in the post. We still get maybe one every couple of orders. Uh, depends how rough the courier is. Uh, but this seal does make such a difference. It really... Does. Sometimes it opens so beautifully like that and other times, now the trick is to get that off without putting that everywhere, other times it just will not peel off. Oops. Wipe your lid off. Carbons, just, it's beautiful. So we um, base and block it on, I think, I think it was Friday when we did our last live. Yeah, it must have because all of it was here. Um, We've got Pure Eco Basin Blocker as the base. We actually mix some of the white Basin Blocker with some carbon um, and put that down as our base. So we're good to go. We have got a 50 mil paintbrush today. Let me just wipe off my fingers on something that's not me. Um, 50 mil paintbrush. And then we've also got, mine's very well used, but this is a Tooth Gussie Blokes Roller. As you can see, it has been quite well used. Um, and this is the... I think it's a five mil nap. Yeah, five mil nap. So nice, short um, fibers. Beautiful. And then one of our Unipro paint trays as well. So I I only have the smaller one of these left on the shelf. I've got the, um, this is the 100 mil. I've only got the 50 mils left on the shelf. But I am going to be getting more in. But I've got plenty of these. Okay. So we've got this detailing. On the drawers, let me bring you closely. You can't see anything over there. Okay. This does not want to tilt down today. You'll be right. You can see. So we've got this detailing. We've got this bit of curve here, which I found with the roller was fine. Um, we've got this bit of detailing in here, which a brush really needs to get into. And then the rest of it's pretty flat. The only other bit is we've got... Why won't this tilt down today? Oh, there you go. I'm tilting the wrong bit. We've got a little curve here. The roller does not like that, so we will paint that by hand. And then I'll tip them on their back and do the feet later as well. But for right now, we're going to focus on the drawers and the actual body of the piece. Uh, we're going to start going straight from our jar. So, 50ml paintbrush. How beautiful is that? So this is silk finish. It has a built-in top coat. Uh, paint's very similar to an acrylic. Always wipe your brush off on the jar a couple of times. That just pushes all that paint into those center bristles. And all we're gonna do first is I'm gonna bring it across this detailing, um, sort of just to make sure that's all filled in nice and then we'll roll over the rest of it. What's wrong? Oh. The roof's leaking. Fabulous. That's right. We'll fix it in a minute. So we're just going to cut in. And you really don't need much of carbon at all. It does go a really long way. Obviously, it's got a lot of pigment in there to, cover, to create this nice, dark, rich colour. Now I've got people arriving as well. This is going really well today. Sorry, guys. Hello, how are you? So we're just cutting in. And just this is just going to help give us that nice clean line and then we roll over the top of it. Down the sides and down the bottom one as well. All right, just, um, just pop it over there. Yeah, if you can keep those, that way they don't get lost. <laughs> so 
So we're just going to keep cutting in. We're going to get all these lines in. Have a good time. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Enjoy, Enjoy your day. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm a bit excited. Something will be different. Um, and then, once you've done that, um, I'm not going to do around this base first. Let's focus on the drawers. We're going to take our tray and our paint. This stuff is explanatory. Put your paint in the tray. You don't need a massive amount. A good dribble. Don't waste your paint. Scoop it off the sides of the jars. Get all that cleaned up nicely. Put our brush down there. Right. Paint in your tray. Your roller. Roll through your tray a few times. Like so. Yeah. And this just helps, similar to your brush, it just helps disperse that paint throughout your roller and then you get a nicer finish as well. And then we're just going to pop the drawer out just a little bit. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to put it back in. <laughs> going to roll over the face first. So by cutting in first, it's just removing any of those brush marks, really. Um, and then we get this nice, clean, rolled finish. And when you roll with the two fussy bloke rollers in particular, you do achieve a spray-like finish with... Um, with silk finish. It is a really, really pretty finish. So go along your drawers. So I like to do the face. These drawers have just got a really small uh, routed edge. It's not too deep. So I can get the rollers in there pretty good. If it's any more than this, I would absolutely just paint that by hand. Let's see how you go. This would be a great set for spraying as well if you want to get it fancy. Um, I have sprayed in the past, but it's just not, it's really not for me. I feel it takes away this hands-on approach more than anything. And I just don't enjoy it as much. So I'm definitely a roller and paintbrush girl. So just like so, and you can see that sort of cut, getting it all in there. Now we just want to, it doesn't have to be perfect coverage because we are going to do our two coats as well. So, um, and as you can see, carbon does cover very, very well. But we're not like, it's not the end of the world if we miss a bit. We don't now want to go back and touch that front of the drawer because it's already starting to dry. So then we're going to take that one out and move it out of the road. Ah, right. now we'll do the next one. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, but carbon's just, it's so beautiful. I love, love, love it in chalk finish, which is our chalk paint. I really, really enjoy it in chalk finish. We're using this. This is a client's piece uh, because this was the best option for this. As we are going like a plain black, we're not getting decorative or anything like that. We're going for a nice, clean, modern finish on this one. So um, the silk finish with the built-in top coat, it's sort of a no-brainer for a look like this. If we were to get a bit creative, I would by all means go in with our chalk and then do something like that. Um, carbon looks amazing with white wax over it. So our white liquid wax, it is all by far one of my favourite finishes. I don't do it enough, but it just, it's beautiful. So if you want to get a bit, bit creative, chalk in the carbon is just divine. And I highly, highly recommend. So just making sure we get those edges and along the bottom as well. You want to get all your sides. And you can see the rollers just getting into that little crevice quite nicely. If you do miss a bit, don't stress too much. This is why we do multiple coats. Like so. Um, I find time-wise, it's a about the same rolling or brushing there's not a massive difference for me in saying that though i've been doing this for many many years um so for me personally i don't find a big a big difference from painting rolling or brushing i find like on a big piece like the dresser in particular rolling is a little bit quicker but yeah, time-wise, it's really, 
up to you. A brush can achieve a really nice finish as well. Silk finish does self level. So you are going to get a nice smooth finish anyway. But the roller just helps that process that little bit more because it is laying it down a lot flatter as well. Um, but like your finish is going to be pretty similar with silk finish anyway. So it's completely up to you which method you want to do. So just get those edges. And I'm only showing, I'm going to do the exact same process with the other bedside and the dresser. But just because it's such a long process and an hour plus long lives, not really on my agenda for today. Um, I'm just going to do it like this for this set. I feel like when I'm showing the same thing over and over, I think this is fine. If we're doing something a bit different, I'll by all means do like the whole process for a whole set or a whole piece on a live. But when it's just the exact same thing that I've been showing you for weeks, we got a bit boring here, didn't we? Um, I'm just going to... Do it like this. I think this works well. You're getting all the information without getting bored. And by all means, if you're just catching up, have a quick scroll through. Um, I don't expect anybody at all to sit there and watch the whole thing. Yeah. I just missed a great big bit here in the middle of that base somehow. I'm just going to touch that up. So, we've got quite a big curve just here. My rollers, as you can see, it's not going to get in there. It will to a point, but it's just not going to look as nice. It's also going to drag that roller a little bit, and it's going to stop it from rolling properly. So, I am going to use my brush with just a little bit of paint on it to get into that crevice just nicely. And that's just going to help give us that nice clean finish as well. So, a bit more paint on my roller. And painting a body like this is nice and easy. Now, I'm going to use my brush and cut in along this top edge as well. The roller does get in there pretty well. But this will just help get that in there that little bit more. I'm going to use my brush just where these joins are just to get some painting to those little joins as well. Just going to help hide any of those. Now for the top trim, I get a little bit more paint on my brush for this underside. And all I do is I drag my brush out to the edge. And this is why we don't finish our top first. We're like 90% sanded on top. As you can see, there's still some finish in there. And I just get my brush I sort of drag that paint from the inside to the edge. And this just helps give like a nice clean trim. So if you're like on the floor or something and you look up underneath, you've got a nice line and it doesn't look like a dodgy paint job. Um, and this is just something, because I'm selling, this is a client's piece, because I'm selling, I always make sure that trim's nice and neat. If you're doing it for yourself, do whatever you like. Um, for myself, probably wouldn't bother, but for a client piece, I always like to. You can do it with a roller as well, if you like, but it is up to you. I generally like to sort of roll my roller along here, use the brush along there, and then go back over and just roll that nice and clean. So down the sides, along the base. Again, this is first coat, so we're not too stressed. If our coverage isn't 100%, it's fine. Now, these drawers sit on top of this. Um, they don't, like, sit in that gap. So, um, we aren't painting, like, the inside seam. Normally, I go about a centimetre in if my drawers sit flush. But because they sit on top, um, we're not going to paint that seam. But keeping in mind as well, any paint that you put on that inside um, can impact your drawer and how it functions. So, just keep that in mind as well. Painting the sides of drawers, etc., uh, if they are not on runners, like metal or plastic runners, uh, every layer of paint adds about a mil. When it comes to drawers fitting, 
a mill makes a world of difference. Um, so I like never, ever, ever paint the sides of drawers. You can stain them, sand them back, give them a coat of stain, that's fine. Um, but I never paint the sides. I might do like a s slim little, um, I don't even have one to show you. Do I have any drawers in here at the minute? No, I don't. I might do like a slim little line right around the very edge. More just so when it's sitting flush, um, you can't sort of, it just hides it a little bit. Sometimes it, it's not as nice if you're seeing this like timber look inside around those edges. Sometimes you can really, really see it. So sometimes you just do that little centimeter or so down the sides of the drawers, but you don't go all the way down because that impacts your drawers and how they function. Um, so nice, nice clean look. <laughs> so these two bits. It really doesn't matter what order you do all of this in as long as you get the paint on there. And then along this bottom edge, so I've done the brush along there. Now we've got a puppy dog visiting. Hello Dee, how are you love? Dee is, there's a gym at the front of us. Dee comes every day with, um, I don't think I've ever called her name but with the gym's owner and um, comes and has a wander and has a look and loves the kids. And uh, the kids normally play fetch with him. He pops every single ball of theirs. <laughs> but uh, he always comes and says hello. All right. Oh, These are solid bedside tables. Like that edge is an inch thick. Um, they are very, very solid. Again, I'm gonna run my brush along the bottom and the top just to give me a nice clean finish. And I'm going to come along. I don't always do this, what I'm doing here, covering up this underside edge, every single coat. Normally I just do it the first coat and then I only do touch-ups if I feel like it needs it for the second. Most of the time, and again, depending on the colour that you're using, that first go is, is enough. Um, you don't always have to do it like every single time. Along this base, like so. And then we come in with our roller. See, we've still got some paint in here, uh, which should be just enough to finish this bedside. With the sides, you can go in any direction you like, whatever feels most comfortable. I generally find up and down or side to side, but you're really just looking to get this paint on here. You do have a few minutes of work time, so if you wanna like go whatever direction like I just did, then go over the top and smooth it all out. You absolutely can. I do like to just roll my roller across there as well. Just smooth out any brush marks up and down. Side to side. These rollers hold quite a lot of paint as well and I find they're not like, they don't flick a lot of paint. Some rollers you get, um, they just, the paint's going everywhere because they're flicking it off. Whereas these ones I do find are quite good and they don't do that too much. Make sure you get those edges. Like so. Once you've sort of done it, you've got maybe a minute or two of work time, don't keep touching it. If you keep touching it, that's when it sort of affects how the paint self levels. And obviously we don't want to be doing that. Along this bottom edge as well, we are gonna flip it up and do the feet. Just nice and neatly along our bottom edge. Then we turn it. These are, oh, hang on, don't touch that bit. I just painted that. <laughs> These are such heavy bedsides. Uh, and again, we're going to cut along the top. Very well, did it? Along the bottom. This just gives you a nicer finish. Um, because our roller can't get into every single crevice, so it really, it just makes that difference in a nice finish and a not so nice finish. Load up your roller again. We've still got some paint left in our tray, more than enough to finish this bedside. Keep 
careful, Oliver. That's my son. I don't know what he's doing. Something crazy by the sounds of it. Wouldn't be the first time. <clears throat> he's got appointments today, so I'm only here for... Well, no, actually, I'm here all day. Joe's only here for a little bit, so... Um, well, we've got heaps of paperwork to get through before he can go. So it's a very busy day. So, just like that, we've done. So, this month as well, September, happy September, new month. Are we into spring yet? I feel like, is it spring? September is spring. It's September, September spring, isn't it? Um, but September is also the Paint and Brush and Co's of our business's birthday, which is exciting. Our birthday's not till, I think it's the 20, 27th, I think. I don't know, I can't remember now. Um, but, uh, September, because it's our birthday month, we're going to celebrate all month long. Uh, so every order that you place this month, you have the chance to win back the price of your order in the version of a gift card. So if you spend 50 bucks, you have the chance to win that back. You spend 300 bucks, you got the chance to win it back. And this is for everybody who shops in store or shops online, doesn't matter what you buy, um, you've got the chance to win that cost back in a gift card so you can do some more shopping. Uh, two chances to win and a um, bit of fun. We'll see how we go. Oh, this week as well, I've got my lucky dip box ready to go. So every order in store or online, you're gonna get a free gift. Uh, we're just gonna celebrate all month long. We're seven years old, um, which doesn't feel like much, but it's been a big seven years. So we're very excited and uh, we hope you are excited as well and you join us for our celebrations. Um, what else are we doing? That's it for now. So I'm gonna go away. I'm not gonna sit here and, and keep boring you for another hour. Uh, I'm going to go and do exactly what I've just done to this one, to the other bedside and the dresser. So I've got another nine drawers to go. I love big sets because they're beautiful and they always look amazing. I hate drawers. They just seem to go on forever. Um, but I'm going to go, what I did to this, I'm going to do with the rest. And then either later today, probably later today, I would say, I'll see how my day goes. Uh, maybe like, like it would be late this afternoon, I'd say. Uh, we will come back and we're going to do coat number two. And coat number two should be our last coat. And then after that, I've just got to finish cleaning up these edges, finish sanding the tops, and that will be another live um, some point this week. Probably tomorrow, depends how today goes. Probably tomorrow we're going to clean up the tops and we're going to stain them. And we're going to do a nice dark stain on these as well, which I'm excited to do. Um, put the handles back on, wrap them up and put them in the storage unit for a few weeks until they get delivered. They're not going out till end of October, but October's a massive month for us. Uh, we've got the Pure Eco Retreat uh, in Newcastle, uh, and there's still tickets available for that one. And then we've also got the Mint by Michelle, um, Painters Untamed as well. And I'm pretty sure there's still tickets for that too. So we will be at both, and we're very excited for that. That's it. That's it. This was fun. How beautiful is carbon? Um, I'm really, really excited to see the set. It's been ages since I've done a full carbon set, so I'm very excited. That's it for me. Have an absolutely wonderful Monday. Um, online or in store, I am in store all day today until four o'clock. I'll try and come back today and we'll do the second coat, see how my day goes. And um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.